Hi, a customer dropped this racket off the other day. Do you know what racket this is? Yes, it's a head prestige tour. Now, if you play with this racket, you know about its unique grommet system called the cap grommet system. In this video, I'll show you how to install it and also share a history behind the head prestige tour. All right, let's go inside. All right, so first you wanna make sure you have the proper tools and supplies. And for today's application, I will be using a heat gun. I have the uh, grommet strip set and it comes in five pieces. The racket that I'll be using, uh, replacing the grommets on is a Prestige Tour. And uh, I have an all uh, cutting pliers and some cable ties in case I need to secure it. All right, so uh, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that the grommet set is the correct uh, set for the particular racket. Uh, so this is the, the uh, grommet set. I'll have a picture up above. What's kind of unique about this grommet set is that it actually is in two pieces. Well, five, but these two main pieces will start at the throat and, and then you're going to install it and then just wrap it around up to the top. And then the other two uh, side pieces is going to be inserted into, the, uh, into these holes right here. Uh, this will go in there and you have that on both sides. And then of course you have the fifth piece, piece which is uh, the throat piece. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, installing it. All right, so we'll start with uh, removing the grommet strip. And what you wanna do is use your cutting pliers. And I'm just gonna cut away at any of the tie-off holes that's flared out. Uh, it'll make it easier to remove the grommet when um, you're taking this one off. By removing these angled grommets, it'll make it a lot easier to remove the existing grommet strip. All right, so once you get all of those cut out, then you can go ahead and start pulling it out. Uh, the easy one is the throat. You just push it through and you just wanna get it out from the uh, throat area. And you can use your awl if you wanna, oh, it came out, so don't need to use my awl. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, the top piece. Well, there's only one piece on each side, so I got this uh, one side here. So I'm just removing this. And we've got the other side. So once you remove those two main outer pieces, uh, you'll notice that the inner smaller pieces are still in there. So in the case of this racket, this little piece that I'm taking out right now is actually underneath that other piece. So in some other grommets, it actually goes uh, inside or over the, the main piece. So. Also, when I took it off, I'll show you on the other side. Uh, just make a note of where, where that grommet is located. So you'll see a series of three holes right here and another hole, a series of three holes here. So uh, that's what I'm gonna use as a reference in terms of where to place the, the new grommet strip. On this one too, uh, and I'll, I'll provide a picture, there's actually a word up on it. So it does matter whether you put it in this way versus this way. So there is a word up right on the uh, edge over here. All right, so I'm gonna use this opportunity to clean the racket while there's no grommets on the frame. And I'm gonna install the throw piece first. That's the easiest one. And so I'll line it up to the holes in the throat area here. And it, it should go in pretty easily. This is usually the first one I'll install. And just press it down with your fingers and that one's in right there. All right, so um, I have these side pieces that I mentioned earlier that has the word up on it. So I'm gonna just make sure that I uh, lined it up to the holes that um, I mentioned. There was a series of three holes here and another here. So the strip is gonna go right in between those series of three holes. So yeah, this is gonna go underneath that main strip that um, we're gonna put on next. So I'm gonna go ahead and install both sides. And again, just making sure that you're looking at the word up. And um, actually there's a word up over here. I didn't really notice that. It's actually on the frame. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So you just line those two things up. All right, so I got those in. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the first strip. And what I'm gonna do is I'll start from the bottom. Uh, when I install it, I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. And there is a curved end on one side and a squared off side on the other. So that uh, squared off end will definitely be on the top. So they all, they match uh, flush at the top. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up. It's important that you wave it around. You don't keep it in one spot for a long time. Uh, you do want to heat it up, but you don't want to melt the grommet strips. So uh, I'll do it about 15 or 20 seconds just to get it nice and soft and uh, pliable. All right, so that should do it. And you should start from the bottom because what happens is um, it's easier to install it up uh, install the longer uh, barrels into the frame then start from the top and then have to deal with this bottom part so I'm, I'm gonna start at the bottom and just line it up to the very uh, bottom hole and um, this is where you're gonna use your awl to help line it up and press it through the hole as you're lining it up and basically you're just gonna work your way up up the frame so Again, using the awl to kind of wiggle it and make sure the each barrel pops in. And when you hear that clicking sound, that's always a good sign that the grommet is definitely in, in the hole. All right, so this middle section, we don't have to worry about because that's where the smaller strip was already installed. And you're just gonna work your way up to the top of the head until you reach that 12 o'clock area of the frame. Now, sometimes a grommet a barrel might get stuck. So if that's the case, then what I'll do is I'll actually do it from the other side. And so like here, this is this is a situation right here where there's a hole that's stuck. Uh, I'm sorry, a barrel that's stuck in the hole. So I'm basically looking at where that uh, barrel is and just lining it up to the hole. And at the same time, I'm pressing it in with my other hand. In a previous video, I actually used the tabletop, so I can do it that way too. If um, if I go ahead and locate that barrel that's stuck, then as I as I'm trying to uh, get that through, I'm I'm pushing it down on the table. So we're at the very tip, and I just want to make sure that I I can get that lined up before I press it in, or if I'm lucky, it might just go in just by pressing it in this way. So. Yeah, it looks like it's working. So we'll just go ahead and get okay, down. It's not quite going in. So you never want to force these in because the worst thing that could happen is that you force it and then the, the tip of that barrel starts flaring out and then you can never get it in. All right, so I got the first side in and you'll see that it's all popping out. Now, earlier I said I would uh, possibly use the cable ties, but I think for this frame, I'm good. It's not gonna, it doesn't, look like it's gonna pop out on either side. So I'll just go ahead and repeat this on the other side and show you the completed racket. All right, here's the finished product of the Head Prestige Tour with the cap grommet system. Now when this racket first came out in 1987 and we heard the word cap, at least I thought it was just simply a cap design over the strings. I mean, that's partly true, but the word cap is actually the acronym for Computer Assisted Protection. And the engineers at HEAD believe that this system will help protect the frame and the strings, especially in Europe where there was a lot of clay so it couldn't get inside the grommets. The other benefit of this system was to make the racket more aerodynamic. <laughs> now in the 35 years of this racket, there have been 15 updates. And during that time, it has been one of the most sought after racket among the touring professionals. If you'd like to read an interesting article on the history of the Head Prestige Tour, I provided a link below. Thanks for watching, happy stringing, and let your strings play. In this video, I'll show you how to install a video. All right, here's the finished product of the Head Prestige Tour. <laughs> now, if you play with this racket, you know that it has a unique grommet system called a crap. Crap. <laughs> Crap. <laughs>